Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts, we're doing another unboxing of the breakdown of the demo. This is Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. This comes with Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, all on one disc. There was a small update of 150 megabytes, and now it just was fixed bugs fixes. Whether what those bug fixes were, I haven't a clue. But, just to jump right into it, uh, Crash Bandicoot is a really well refined design for the original trilogy. Uh, this, I will show you uh, flashbacks from the original first one just for the first game here so you can get an idea of what they've improved and what they've done. They basically slapped the uh, Crash Bandicoot Warp 3, uh, all of its content and design, into the uh, first and second one. That way it's got the most refined controls, it's got the best uh, setup, as well as you no longer have to wait till you get to the bonus level to save your uh, game in the first one. You can say it has an auto save function where basically anytime you beat a level, it auto saves for you for all one, two, and three. And it just it's got the joystick support and the jumping's a lot cleaner and smoother. I have people see seen people complain about the controls are harder because of the fact it's using warp and not the original controls of the first one. I don't understand it i i can i can't I, I don't agree to it i i i as you can see i i own the both original as well as the newest version and just the controls are so much better on the the, the remastered version than it is on the original playstation one version which is to be expected you're using the d-pad in the past but it still was the, the jump rotation the jump like there's no delay in your jump everything's really smooth it's just me. I think a lot of people are just using nostalgia to blind them about how it controlled in the past and what it controls now. All in all, to me, it controlled flawlessly and it made it a little bit more easier to play for all the way to first and second and third. It just was a really, really well designed throwback to the original Crash Bandicoot games. And it just makes me happy to play it because it's just. I miss these kinds of games, and I just I like the fact that it's not open world. It's about a well-designed path run. It's like, I mean, where it's not about I mean, making lots of space. It's about making every level really, really challenging, but yet fun to play. Because it never gets old trying to hunt down all the boxes, trying to get the special gems, doing the time trials. It's one of the few games I love doing the time trials with because it's just it's so much fun trying to hit those boxes to get the time. And then there's so many of these awards I mean, when you reach the I mean, first, second, third, and then there's that super special one. I mean, it's like really hard to get. All in all, there's no reason to actually avoid this Crash Bandicoot uh, 3 uh, trilogy remaster because they really did an amazing job. It looks gorgeous. It plays great. The music is phenomenal. Uh, they, they they refine the cutscenes and stuff like that. The voice acting is just uh, really well done too. It almost sounds just like the original voice actors, if not them. I really, really enjoyed it. And one of the best parts is, is you can play as Coco, which is Crash Bandicoot's sister from the first, second, and third. Now, she doesn't get really introduced until like in the second one. You don't really get to play much with her. Only a few selected levels here and there. But now you can play her for on any level. As long as it's not a level that was des designated for Crash Bandicoot, like where he has to ride the motorcycle and warped, or you're fighting the boss that Crash Bandicoot's supposed to fight. I mean, but the uh, same thing can go with uh, warped with Coco. If Coco's got to ride that tiger for the Chinese wall, then you play as Coco, not Crash Bandicoot, which is perfectly fine. To me, it just gave, gave a new feeling to the game, and I love the fact that uh, Coco has her own death animations and stuff like that, I and mean, she's not just a reskin of Crash Bandicoot. She's basically her own character, but she doesn't have different abilities. She doesn't ch she doesn't change anything in gameplay. She just looks different, and she actually indicates herself into the world. She's just not like some unlockable skin or something, which is really great. It makes her feel like she's actually part of the world, because like in the first one, and I mean, you, ha you can't immediately play her. You have to find her, and you find her in their time machine. She basically went back in time, and then you get to play her as much as you want. That kind of stuff is a neat little details that shows compassion and care went into the designing the game. You just didn't just shoehorn something in there to just appease a certain people. Coco was amazing. I love playing as Coco. It was just a nice tribute. I'm glad to see more of her. And they did. Re I mean, they just did an amazing job with this, and I'm really glad with it. I hope this maybe inspires for. More games for the of this kind. I'm not talking about being more Crash Bandicoot games. Great. If we can get more, that's great. But I'm talking about like more platformers, more 
how do you say, these kinds of kind of games. And I hope this maybe increases Activision's desire to maybe do a re uh, remaster of all the Spiral games for the PlayStation 1. That would be phenomenal as well. Now, there's been lots of talks that Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, might be just a time exclusive. Whether it's not or it is, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, if get, more people get to play it, that's all the better. That might increase odds of we, us getting more of these kinds of games. If it stays a PlayStation 4 exclusive, hey, now you more power to PlayStation. They picked up, they bought, and they are just added one, an, just another great game to their um, amazing catalog of exclusive collections. But I don't care either way. If it stays exclusive, great. If it doesn't, great. Because I mean, that to me is just more people get to enjoy a phenomenal games. And they are phenomenal. They haven't aged a day. Because you can still play the original ones. And you still functions and plays great. While this one is just the same thing. It just looks prettier. And they just tweak some things. Make it a little bit better. And I'm just glad that they did it flawlessly. I was worried because of Activision. And name certain things involved. And everything like that. And it wasn't Naughty Dog anymore. But they did an amazing job. There's no reason to not pick this up. If you have the time. Have the money. Or any means of desire. Or you just really get into these guys' games, there's no reason not to get this trilogy. Or if you've never played Crash Bandicoot, this is a great point to start because you get to play all three of them, get the story, and hopefully this might inspire us to get a Crash Bandicoot 4. But I want it to play the same way as this. Don't make it like Crash uh, Bandicoot Twin, uh, Twin Sanity or anything. Which is nothing wrong with that game, but I strongly prefer this kind of style. It's just, it's more refined more better it just feels like what crash bandicoot supposed to be now i don't mind some spin-offs here and there like crash bandicoot racing or uh ctr as it's also called or crash bash big spin-offs those two games are actually really fun as well so i'm not saying not to do that i'm just saying that this is what i play crash bandicoot for is these three kinds of games so like always i live will leave links down in the description I highly recommend picking this up. If you have the time, have the money, there's no reason not to get this game. So, like always, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I thank every one of you guys for always being there and enjoying my content and leaving your feedback and your opinions. So, like always, I'll see you guys in my next unboxing videos. Bye bye! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck.